Bottle. Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and welcome back to another episode of Sly 2. In between episodes I ran around, so if I could find a few more bottles, I found two. Oddly enough, I could not find this one before when one of the key places is right down there. But hey, here we go, I got it, yay! Also, in between episodes, I found the safe that we need to get all the bottles to open. That was completely on accident, and it is a place we have been to before. If you know where it is, great. If not, then I guess it'll be a secret later on. How could I not jump up there? Probably have to get all the way up on top this direction to get up there. Because I see another bottle. Wait. One, two. Are those the last two bottles? I think those are the last two bottles. Maybe we'll just go ahead and open up the safe while we're around here. No, there's a third one somewhere. Well, I tried. How am I supposed to get that one, though? Can I jump over to that? Surely not. How do I get that one? This is going to be a trial. Certainly I can't jump up there from down here, right? Okay, I can get onto this one anyway. Okay, there we go. Yeah! Alright. One bottle left in this world. After we get it, we can unlock the safe. Also, there's two missions left. Um, we need to be inside the walls for the attack robot, I think, but that one is conveniently closer. Maybe if they're fast missions, we can do them both. Or at least if this one is a fast mission, we'll do them both and we'll have a long episode. Ooh, hi. To get at Murray, I'll need you to steal two tank keys and the tank patrol schedule off of the Contessa. No problem. I'm an old hand at pickpocketing. This is going to be tougher than you think. The Contessa's no fool. Since your escape, she never goes anywhere without bodyguards. You'll have to take them out one by one in order to get close to her. I should probably use noise to lure them away from the Contessa. Well, we have that. Also, good job getting bodyguards, but... How effective are they going to be when they suddenly disappear? And will you notice that? Kind of doubt it. So... Let's see now. That, and oh my gosh, that caused a lot of destruction right there. Come on, camera. Come on, camera. Shoot, there's a bat, too. Well... Bat goes back. Come on, come on, come on. Got him! And that guy? Yes! Oh, yes! That is better than I could have hoped for. Just don't turn the light. And you don't have any treasure in your pocket. Nice! Wow! That was way better than I anticipated. Oh, Contessa! Why are you walking around on the ground like this? You can climb up walls. Make your rounds that way. Gotcha. Who goes there? Where... Where are my gods? Hee <laughs> hee. They all went on a lunch break. I need to stop pushing the wrong button. <laughs> I'm using up my special ability powers. Or bar. Power bar. My bar for special abilities. I wonder if everything is contained inside my cane. This isn't. But for some reason that drains it too. I should stop doing that. I don't even know how I get it back. I think I get it back by attacking enemies or knocking out enemies. There's one up here. We can try this out. There's a hit. There's a hit. Huh. I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Okay. So now, when this guy's done, I need to find the Contessa again. Come on! Get down! Yeah, I really don't know how we're gonna punish that thing. Okay, where... oh. Duh, I've gotta cheat. Uh, where are you at? Are you inside the building? Holy cow. Maybe she's back where we were before. Okay. Well, yeah, she is inside. Alright, well... I can handle this. Shouldn't be too much of a problem, although I have a hard time finding the guard locations in here. I like to jump down from buildings and whatnot, so I should probably take care of that wolf before... Yeah, she's circling this building. Okay. Well, as long as there's no gargoyles up here. Ah, oh, there's a bat. So I'm gonna have to take care of both of them before she can get away from the building. These guys have treasure too, so... I kind of need to take my time about that. Oh, that's new! A topaz! That is cool. I approve. Wait, there's an oyster with the guards. Oop. Well, that didn't go quite as expected. Maybe if they pass by one of those carriages, 
I can take one out and then sneak under it? That seems like a lot of work, though. Uh, it's lie. <laughs> Maybe destroying those barrels is how I can lure them. So be careful and not walk into any searchlights. Here's an opportunity. For some reason... There's no guard up on that, but there is one over there. So... There we go. And then... There. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're doing fine. Actually, he's going to run off in this direction, so... Yes, 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 yes. Woo! And... Two! Yes! That went exceptionally well. Wow. Stop pushing the wrong button. Yeah. Alright. One left. One left. Um, alright. Let's, uh... Let's try out our new ability over here. Uh, what do I want to use? How about the Insanity Strike? Yeah. Hmm. Let's let that searchlight get further away. Although... Come on. Yeah, that works too. That works too. Don't look at me. I wanted to use the alarm clock. Wow, that was a lot of coins. And he gives me even more here. Sweet! I would have replaced it with a smoke bomb, but considering how often I push the wrong button, it's probably not a good idea. Also key. Wow. Huh? They're gone again. <laughs> and she only had two keys. No. She has oh one more item. I thought that she had that bleh. I thought Bentley said that they have she had Let me start over. <laughs> I thought Bentley said that she had two keys, but it's saying that she has three items. I wonder if there's going to be... Oh, right! The schedule. We need to get the schedule. And there's the bomb trapped item down there. Get down. I'm terrible at this. Okay, I was hoping that that would have been the last one, because the uh, tank destruction mission is beginning in here, too, so... Would have been convenient. Where's the Contessa? Um, Contessa? There you are. Man, she really made some progress, didn't she? Okay. Right, there's one. Surely the other guard will turn around and come back. Hey, where'd you go? Or he go? Man, I don't know which one he was. Oh, wait, I can throw the alarm clock? Oop, that's not the best place to put it, considering I wasn't ready for it, but you know what? Whatever. Also, that bat didn't hear it. Seriously? Well, it's good to know I can throw them. I thought it was just a drop thing. Also, I'm nearly out of juice, too, so... Can I catch up to him? Grab that pocket. Yeah. Oh, man. Turn around. Yes. Will you give me a blind spot? Yeah, I, I can't jump that. That is way too risky. Also, I just noticed that he is holding a crossbow in his talons. That is a very talented bird. Also reminded me of uh, the Disney Robin Hood. Thank you for turning the right direction. I can pick the rest of your pocket. Get a gold pocket watch. And then give you a concussion. Fantastic! Health 2. This is going way better than I expected it to. That's mine. There you are. Alright, last one. But he has the Contessa right in front of him. So, let's try out the alarm clock again. About there. That's a nice open spot. Go ahead and grab something from you. He's knocked out. She never heard a thing. Got it. Woo! What? Huh? Where are those lazy bodyguards? They're all fired. Great work. Now we're all set up to steal a tank. I think they have more to worry about than unemployment at this point. Oh, she has a good healthcare plan. That is a creepy trophy. That is a really creepy trophy. Okay. I believe we do have enough time left over to take care of the... Oh, crap. Attack robot next, so... 
We'll do that as soon as I get to safety and then back inside the prison walls. Just broke out of prison and we keep on trying to get back in. Oh, there's the gold medal finally. Well, I've gotten through this place as best I can looking for the bottle on my way here. I can't find the bottle. I can't say I've gone over this place with a fine tooth comb or anything like that, but I've definitely kept a very careful eye out and not seen it. So it's going to take some special effort to find that bottle. Okay, Sly, that's it. The Contessa's giant attack robot. Look, Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. And giant attack robot. <laughs> uh, yeah? By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. Honestly, I think that this thing up here would be destroyed first, but you know what? Bentley knows what he's talking about. One, two, ow, and three. Nice work. That lightning rod is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rods. You know, lightning always strikes the highest point, and this is the highest point while the attack robot is down there. Okay. Bentley knows what he's talking about. This is a Sly Cooper game where... The science doesn't really make any sense, but you know what? Whatever. I'm not the brains of this outfit, I am the stealth. That's probably the best thing I could be in real life too, is just, I'm the stealth guy. Personally in games I prefer to be the, the aggressor. Oddly enough in this game I am not, because Murray is not my best character. Well, neither is Bentley, really. I'm not very good with either of them, I'm mostly just good with Sly, so... Yeah? Still, if we're talking real life here, I would definitely be the stealth guy. Wow! That thing just destroyed the guard here. Alright, how big is the radius? Lightning strike? Eh. Uh, lightning strike. There's another one. I can get one. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lightning strike. All the way over there. Okay. Gotcha. Deeper, 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 deeper. There it is. Okay, so it's going to cover the entire roof. Wonderful. Come on, Sly. Get it. Alright. There's two. Hmm. I'm going to need more health, though. Those lightning rods are very damaging. I'm sure you will do the trick after I loot your body of treasure. I will then absorb your health. Just like the vampire bat friends that you keep. Yes. Alright. Next one. Okay, so that wasn't the smartest idea. You do not run away from the lightning rod into one of the transformers that is powering up the uh, train line. Yeah, that's kind of stupid. Let's not do that. Alright, get back up there and fight this guy. And hopefully he'll give me health. He did not, you jerk. Okay, stay safe. Lightning bolt. These guys down there see me, but they're not shooting at me yet. I think I have time. That is... Okay. I got two of them, and it looked like that lightning was going to strike there, because everything got very red suddenly. No. Thank you. I wonder if there's a way to tell which of these things will activate into monsters, or... I don't know. Okay, for some reason, that shut it off. Now, where's the next one at? Alright, so here's the next one. There's one... Two, oh my gosh! Yeah, too late for that one. Well, it makes it easier. 
That one's down. Not sure where the last one is. I actually can't find them on my Banaki Com, so I guess following the lightning really is the best way to track these things down. There's the last bottle! How do I get to it? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Got it! Woohoo! Sometimes Slide does not want to get those. Okay. So, where'd you go? Is that that one over there? Yes, it is. Alright, we'll get over there, shut that one off, and then go open the safe. Shouldn't be too difficult, I think, although... What? What? Okay. Just one. Back up. Just two. Come on, Sly. Two. Three. Woo! That was close. That's pretty awesome. Actually, that looks like a design I made a long time ago. For something that must never be mentioned. Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. This may be the coolest plan that we've done so far. I love it. I really love it. Also, I think that I can see where this is going to go. If you don't want any spoilers for the last uh, mission, like what's going to happen here, I could be right. I feel like I'm right. If you don't want any spoilers, skip ahead to the time on screen here. But, what I'm guessing is going to happen is that Murray is going to be the final boss of this area. He's going to have at least some hypnosis effects on him where the Contessa can make him attack us, being that we are thieves and he believes himself to be a law-abiding citizen of uh, Animaltopia or whatever the crap this place is. I don't know. But, if that is the case, I would not be surprised. And it seems like that's what they're trying to build up to. Anyway, now that when all these werewolf guards are gone, we'll go over there, crack the safe, and end the episode. Come on now. Get to him. There. Really? Dang. I feel like the guards are getting more and more resilient to damage as time goes on. Also, by the way, I think I figured out what's wrong with the security here. They're just hiring thugs, mercenaries, people who can be bought off to be... Oh yeah, this is where the safe is too, by the way. They're hiring people who can be bought off to be their so-called security. That is not security. I don't really know how much I should say because it's the job I have, but yeah. Terrible, terrible security guards. You need an IQ of at least 140 to figure this one out. That Contessa is smarter than I'd thought. I believe the code is 248. Little bit of a bragging right here, just because I feel I rarely get the opportunity. That's only barely higher than my IQ, actually. So I couldn't crack the code, but I digress. Lawn toss? You've gotten the lawn toss move! Yes, Bentley, thank you, I could read it. Okay, hi Tank. So glad you patrolled by at that exact point. Where's... Where's the lawn toss? I don't have it. Is it to someone else? No, it couldn't be because... It couldn't be someone else's move because it had Sly's arm. I mean, that's a really simple thing, but that makes sense to me. Like, maybe it could be one of Murray's special abilities. He'll be able to throw things farther. But that seems like it would be really, really useless. Or... Or, maybe we can throw things farther. It's hard to tell when I'm on an incline like this. Hold on. 
So... Yeah... Yeah, I can't tell. I really can't tell. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Thanks, everyone, for joining me for Sly 2 today. Next time... Oh, come on now. That's that's terrible. Next time, I will have died. And, uh... Oh, yeah. Smoke bomb. Yay! Next time, we'll be breaking Murray out of prison. See you then. Take care. Oh, that looks bad. I've never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. <laughs>